Good morning. My name is Donna Letson, and I am a first grade teacher here at Twin Hickory Elementary. And I am with my fabulous first graders today. We are going to be investigating a science lesson today. We'll be learning about observations, making predictions, and creating questions about what we observe. So are you ready to get started? Yes! Let's talk about our learning target today. First, we are learning about how we're going to use our five senses to help us observe, how to create questions about what I'm observing, and how to make a few predictions about those questions. We're going to start with a book called My Five Senses. Here we go. If you can turn and face me for the text. My Five Senses. I see with my eyes. I can hear. I hear with my ears. I can smell. I smell with my nose. I can taste. I taste with my tongue. I can touch. I touch with my fingers. I do all of this with my senses. I have five senses. When I see the sun or a frog or my baby sister, I use my sense of sight. When I hear a drum or a fire engine or a bird, I use my sense of hearing. Oh, I have a challenge for you. What bird makes this sound? Cheep, 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 birdie, birdie, birdie. Cardinal. Yeah, good for you. When I smell soap or pine tree or cookies just out of the oven, who likes cookies out of the oven? I do. I use my sense of smell. When I drink my milk or eat my food, I use my sense of taste. What sense did we say we are not going to ever use in this classroom? Taste. Good job. Unless, well, unless it's your snack. When I touch a kitten or a balloon or water, I use my sense of touch. Sometimes I use all my senses at once. Sometimes I only use one. Can you think of a time where you use all of your senses? I want you to do a carpet talk for me. Are you ready? Find your buddy. Three, two, one. Start your carpet talk. Okay, three, two, one. Carpet talk is done. I need some partner shares. Yes, sir. We we could do all of our senses at once at lunch. At lunch? Ooh. Who else thought of at lunch? That's a really good one. And I, I think I agree. That's a great idea. Yes, sir. I said it was at I thought I said the same thing. I said who else said at lunch? Anybody else have that great idea? Who has a different idea? Yes, sir. Just go crazy. Just go crazy? Yeah. How is that using your five senses? You gotta eat, touch, do all that stuff. Okay. Right out to think about that one for a minute. Yes, ma'am. Um, we can watch the moon, and when we eating, and we can cheating. Okay. So you have to be doing a lot of different things at the same time in order to use them all? Yes. Coloring. Coloring? Yeah. Hmm. While listening to music. Hmm. Coloring while listening to music. Okay, let me ask you a question. I'm going to challenge you. What are you tasting when you're coloring and listening to music? Lunch. Oh, so you have to be eating lunch too. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so it's not so easy to be doing one thing and using all five senses, is it? All right, one more comment. Yes. Uh, 
snack. Snack? Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of snack is very much like lunch. Maybe not as long. Because we usually have a working snack, so it's pretty fast. Yeah. Did you have a comment? Yeah. Well, what's your, what's your thought? Um, I, I, I thought um, a picnic. A picnic? Ooh. Yeah. How many of you have been on a picnic before? Yeah. I like that idea. Let's talk about the five senses at a picnic. Give me one sense, and now you're going to see it at a picnic. Why don't you start for us? One sense. Say it again. Licking. Licking? What are you licking? Food. Your food. So you're tasting, right? That's that's number one, tasting. What's another one? Throwing. Throwing? What are you throwing? No, smelling. Oh, smelling. What are you smelling? Food. The food that you're getting ready to eat? Yes, ma'am. You have the other one? What? I, I have the same thing. Same thing. Anybody got another one? Yes. Um, lick. Okay, we already heard lick. Oh, I have a good one. Lick is the same as taste. Yes, sir. That, that we could throw? And I think someone already said throw. No, I misheard him. How would we throw? Well, we could stop eating lunch and, like, throw a, throw a ball. Okay. Are you picking up your food? No. You're not picking up your food when you eat it? You, when you have a picnic, you don't pick up your sandwich to eat it? No. We, I hope so. I wouldn't want you to go, ah, go, go, go. <laughs> One more comment. You can hear the birds around you. Now we're finished on that, but I do want to ask you another word. Before we start our lesson for today and we use some of those senses, we need to review a couple of words. We've been talking about the word observe. Can you partner talk for just like 10 seconds? Go. Okay, three, two, one, carpet talk is done. I need to understand what observe means. What does observe mean? It means using all these five senses except for taste. Thing! I love that. Good job. You have something to add? Uh, except if it was like a food, like or an apple. Okay. Okay, well if it's something that's allowed that we could taste. I love that definition. That's a great definition. How about good question words? You ready to think about that for a second? Partner talk, good question words, go. I need just the question word. Are you ready? Give me one. How? Give me one. When? Um, uh, 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 um, what? Um. You had it. Why? How? When? Why? Who? Who? What? What? Uh, which? Which? Ooh, that's a good one. Anybody else? Yes. Uh, can? Can? Yes. Where? Where? Is what was your sunny? How? How? Great word. So when you write your wonder questions, you're gonna start with one of those words. Are we ready? Yeah. One final thing. Attribute. <laughs> Attribute is actually a math word. Do you remember how we talked about that in math? Yeah. But we also use that in science. Attribute. I want you to put a mental picture in your head. Are you ready? Yeah. This is the picture I want in your brain. Tree. Think of a tree. What makes a tree a tree? Why do I call it a tree? Partner top.
Okay, three, two, one, Carby Tuck is done. What makes a tree a tree? Because it is a tree. Why? Why do I look at something and think, that's a tree? What does it have that makes me know that? Okay, that's how it gets there, but how do I know when I look at it, that's a tree? What do you got? Uh, a trunk. It has a trunk. What else? It has leaves. It has some leaves. We learned that not all trees have leaves though, right? Yeah. Yeah. What did we learn yesterday that some trees have? Apples. Apples. But coverings. Remember we saw some long skinny needles? Pine trees. Pine trees. Good job. Good job. Um, how is a tree a tree? Yes. Go. It has bark. It has bark. Oh, I love that. The trunk has bark. Bark is a covering. Yes. It's green. What part is green? The leaves are usually green until we have a change of season. Yes. Like, I think it's, it, it's like a, it's called tree because first they put a seed in it and then it grows like, first it's like a teeny little little plant and then it, it gets a little bit bigger and then it will grow into a big tree. Okay, but how we know it's a tree is the way it looks and the way we can describe it. It's the tree's attributes. Can you say it with me, Anthony? Attributes. All right, friends, you're going to head back to your seats in just a minute. Sweet Pea, think about what you're doing. We're going to head back to our seats in just a second. And when we do, I'm going to ask you, table captain, raise your hand if you're my table captain today. Table captains, raise your hand. One of you has someone absent, Godzilla Grapes. You need a new table captain today. She's absent. You want to be table captain? Okay, raise your hand if you're table captain. Okay, we only have four tables, bud. We've got a lot of hands and we've, we've only got four tables. One, two, three, four, perfect. Table captains, this is going to be your job. You're going to take the lid off of the container and you're going to pass out the long, listen, you need to know the attributes, the long, skinny, green, or brown objects. I just gave you a whole list of attributes. Long, skinny, green, or brown Objects. Are we ready? Yeah. All right, let's head back to our seat. Long, skinny, green, or brown. There you go. Pass one out to everybody. Long, skinny, green, or brown. Which one would it be? All right, who's the table captain? Table captain should be getting those out. Long, skinny. Okay, table captain, why do you have your hands on those things? This is not what I described. Long, skinny, green, or brown. All right, friends, are we ready? Everybody should have something that's long, skinny, green, or brown. Do you all have that? All right, at your table, I want you to chat about, make observations about what you have. Go. This is bumpy. Bumpy, I love that word. Bumpy? All of these are bumpy? Does everybody agree they're all bumpy? Why do you think that one's green and this one's brown? That one has fallen off early and this one has, has fallen off Ah! Oh. Can you make a connection with leaves? Remember we talked about leaves that way too? Yeah, Okay, so this one is still green because it probably just recently fell off. This one is brown because it fell off a while ago. This one, look at this one. This one's even darker brown. What do you think is inside the little bubbles? Use your sense of touch and feel it and tell me what you think is inside the little bubbles. You think? Oh. A nut? Oh, 
He just cracked his open. Can you take it open and see what's in there? Seed. See if you can crack it open. Oh, look at that, a little baby seed. Wow. So what's the purpose of this thing? To hold the seeds? Good job. Yeah, like, do you How are we doing? What are we observing here? I am observing that in, I'm, I'm using my working and I'm seeing it looks like seeds inside. Seeds inside? Can you tear it open? I just Go ahead. Tear it open and see if you can get a seed out. Yes, I got some. You did? How would you describe the seed? Like, they're, they're like a oval shapes. Oval shapes? Yes. It's hard. It's it's like bumpy. Bumpy? Why do you think that the seeds are hidden in these little pockets inside because this? Because I think they, it's trying because they use seeds to grow it and then when it grows, they will go inside it. Okay, but why? Think about what do you observe about what the seed is? It's covered in green. Maybe it's like... How's it going to grow if it's covered in green? Um, class, class, class! friend here just discovered something really interesting about his little pod of seeds. Can you hear him shaking it? When he shakes it, there's so many and they're so loose, it actually makes a sound, so he's using his sense of ear. Let's review one time really quickly, five senses. I use my eyes to look. I use my ears. I use my I use my I use my Is there anything in what we're doing today that we're going to use our mouth for? Did anybody use your nose to smell? What did you smell when you used your nose? Oh, this smells like somehow like a brown wheat. It smells like peas. Does anyone else make that connection? Yeah. Oh Good job. Yeah. All right, are we ready? Yeah, really. Thank you for joining us today.